Hi there, my name is Fiona Parker and I work at Stroud Library. This is my follow-up video to my story time session where we looked at the story of Hoot and Holler. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a picture to go with the story. So if you're at home and you've got a favourite story at home that you would like to do a picture of, you can use the same idea. So to start with, I usually use the uh, drawings from the book as a starting point but then at some point I like to then go on and add my own bit to it so that it's not actually just copying the picture. So what I'm going to do is show you how to draw an owl um, using the beautiful illustrations by Ramatus Rollier as a starting point. So we're going to draw the owl and we're going to start Oh, put my glasses on, that would help. Going to start with the head. Now the head is a lovely big fat circle. And it doesn't matter if the circle isn't perfect. This is only for your own um, sake. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I forgot to mention that what you need to start with is just some white paper and a black marker. I'm using a black sharpie, but it really can be any black pen that you've got at home. Um, and I just find that using black, it just builds the picture up really quickly and effectively. Now, I'm probably going to start now after doing the round bit for the head with the wing. So I'm just going to bring the wing out like this, bring it round to there. It all sort of, at the beginning, it's just getting the, the shapes in. And you All the, the sort of finer details you fill in afterwards. So let's just do that. Uh, and then I'm going to put in his body. So we're going to do a sort of shape that comes down a bit like this. There we go. Like that. And then the other wing. And I'm just going to have it sort of coming out a bit like that. There we go. And then we need to put in his little um, feet. Uh, so we pop his little feet in like that. There we go. And then another one here. There we are. Right. So that's the main shape of our little owl already put together, just make that a little bit thicker, like that, and a little bit more on this wing, there we go, like that, right, and then once we've got the main shape of our little owl, um, we need to put in the eyes, so my two lovely round eyes, one there, and one here, and a nice little dot in the middle, and then the beak. Beak is always a good thing to put in at this stage. So it's just a sort of simple shape like that. I'll add a little bit there as well. The beauty of um, Sharpies is you can make the lines really thick or you can make them a bit finer. It kind of gives different textures to the picture. Right, now that we've got the main um, shape there, I want to add... Um, some little lines around the eyes like so and we'll do it on the other side and I love the fact that you can just it's all about just different markings on the paper that it can just add such a lot of texture to the picture um, and then we'll do um, slightly bigger lines going around like that there we go um then i'm going to just do the little feet bit so i'm going to do the little black claws on the feet like that just put some little markings on there like so um, then we need to put some feathers onto the wings. Now I just find, with, I mean on these bigger wings here, we can do sort of big, almost like U shapes, like that. 
and over on this side we'll do a similar sort of thing. There we go. So use that so make quite clever effect of feathers and then I also find little V shapes equally give a really good idea of feathers on the body shape like that and you can be quite quick with it I might put a few around the face as well there we go I think he needs a little bit of expression to his face um, and then because he's an owl and um, he comes out at night and also because at the moment he looks a little bit like he's kind of just suspended in in thin air I want to kind of put him into a setting so I'm going to put him onto a tree like so there we go so now he's sitting on a branch a lovely way of making this look like it would is by kind of adding lines and almost like little knot marks in the tree it just kind of gives it a slight idea that it's wood like that and we'll put some bigger knots here, like that, some lines, there we are, and like I said, it doesn't matter if it goes wrong, because it is just for your own benefit, but it's a lovely way of, when you've read a story, a lovely way of remembering the story by doing a little picture to go with it. People that come to my uh, regular story time sessions at Stroud Library will know that I always try and give them a little colouring sheet to take home at the end so they can go home and tell their parents about the story that they have had that day. So I'm going to add in some little branches, I'm going to put in some leaves now. I love drawing leaves. Don't know why, but I do. We go put in another one like that. There we are. There we are. I think we'll have um, a leaf coming down from the top. beauty of using just a black pen is that it builds up the picture very quickly and I just think it looks really striking and then it's a lovely base for you to go on and colour it in and put colours in. Now I said that little owl, we're, we're, we're going to say that he's out in the night because that's when owls normally come out so we're going to add some stars I think into the night sky so i'm going to draw in some stars now stars can be quite tricky to draw but don't be afraid to have a go you can add um, little sticky colored stars onto your page if you would prefer to do that these stars are far from perfect but it really doesn't matter. Um, there we go. Let's put one over here. I think we just need a couple more. We actually have an owl that comes out most evenings in the fields just across from here. And it's lovely hearing him hooting and tooting in the night. Uh, right, so we've got our stars. Another thing that I love to do is to add little dots around the stars. And again, it's so effective when you're using a black pen. To just It just kind of adds a kind of 
sort of sparkly magical element to your picture so it looks like the stars are twinkling in the night sky there we go just keep dot 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 great fun now this is um something that you can all have a go at with any picture that you're doing it's uh a really fun thing to do. There we go. Just keep tap 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 tap. Yeah, but it just kind of it creates a bit of movement to the picture as well. Right, and then I'm just going to put some lines here so that the owl looks like he's jigging, moving. There we go, and there we have it. Um, a picture of your owl. I just quickly colour in the beak. We've got that bit. There we go. And there's a picture of our owl. Um, do have a go at home. See how you get on. And um, let me just give you a pic. There he is. So there's our little owl. And um, see how you get on at home. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.